Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Drastic measures are being taken in southeastern New Mexico to get water to farmers. This is the second driest year on record, and farmers are now having to dig deep for water. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is live in Roswell with the story. Kim, the water shortage caused by the drought has prompted this part of the state to switch to Plan B, pumping the water from the aquifer, and taxpayers are paying for it. On average, southeast New Mexico gets about 12 inches of rain a year. Last year, only four and a half inches fell. When you start getting that low on rainfall and you get the wind and the heat, well, it's very, it's very severe. Since 2003, farmers in southeast New Mexico have agreed on minimum goals for water supply to ensure everyone has enough water. As part of the agreement, 50,000 acre feet of water should be stored in reservoirs on the Pecos River by March 1st. And we're right around 40,000. 500, so you can see we're not going to make it. The 50,000 acre feet of water is for Carlsbad. Aside from praying for rain, they're pumping water from wells in Seven Rivers and Lake Arthur underground from the artesian aquifer. It's the first time farmers have had to resort to that, and taxpayers are paying for it. The more the water table goes down, the more pumping lift that you have, and the more energy it takes to lift that water to the top of the ground and put it into your irrigation system. So, and, and your electric bill is going to go up. Chavez County Flood Control Superintendent Dick Smith says the worst case scenario is getting a priority call, which is almost the same as getting sued for water they owe. That, he says, would really hurt Chavez County. You have to stop farming, and there wouldn't be any cash flow. I mean, the, the grocery store, the fertilizer dealer, the implement dealer, everybody would suffer. It's a threat, he says, that's not imminent, but making sure everyone has enough water for now is the task at hand. And so far, we've been able to do that. Now, if it continues to get dry, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. We just, we just have to pray for rain, I guess. Now half of the water from Fort Sumner Lake to the Texas state line goes to Texas every year. The bottom line is water will be short in supply until we get more rain. Back to you. Thanks, Gabrielle. Now, New Mexico currently has a water credit of about 90,000 acre feet with Texas. So if we can't give Texas its allotted water this year, water will be docked from that credit.